Hey guys, it's Dalton from Daltonian's TF Reviews, and today we're going to take a look at an even older figure, and that is the Armada repaint of the Transmetals T door. I'm just doing this because, you know, I have him. He's really the only full Beast Wars figure that I have that has you know, all of his parts and everything. Uh, there he is, and then you can also bring in his little mini con partner, Cliff Jumper. Which is just a little kind of off road pickup truck with the spare tire as the minicon port. And f for this small of a vehicle, not bad on the detail. I mean, you got the floodlights up here, you got a winch, you got orange headlights, you got some molding in there on the bed, and then for these lights up here, silver paint on the windows, a little door right there. You got the little minicon symbol. And her little gimmick is you pull this out. Oh, and yeah, I should have mentioned this cliff jumper is somehow a female that loves to read books rather than jump off cliffs. So that's according to her bio. So but you pull this out and you pull it back, and it pulls back the little hook. So not really anything big with that. For transformation, you just want to flip these down. And just swivel these arms up, and that's it. That's all you do. Oops. Put that back in vehicle mode. Put that off the side. As for Cheetor, not a bad repaint, but it just doesn't look very Autobot to me. It looks more like a he would be a Decepticon. Which is kind of the same for the other two Maximals that got repainted in the Armada line along with Pterosaur. They were all three transmetals. But bring in a couple of recent figures to scale with him. Here's the Collectors Club 2013 Death Charge. Let's see, he's a little bit shorter than Death Charge by about a head. Also bring in the Generations Bumblebee which he is just a little bit taller than so he's kind of a toss up between he's like a medium sized deluxe so and that's kind of his size back in Beast Wars as well so it works out just fine as for accessories he does come with his little club axe whip thing that will become his tail in Beast Mode as for articulation, he's got a ball joint up here on his head, rotates 360, got ball jointed shoulders, these are actually still fairly tight on him, he's got ball jointed elbows which are a little bit loose, nothing at the wrist but still ball jointed at the elbow so that works, yeah, this one's a little loose too, uh, rotates at the waist, about to there on either side, but here I'll rotate about 180 and then it just gets a little stuck right here. He's got ball jointed hips but with the way this is made it just doesn't go up all the way. I mean it goes up all the way but doesn't rotate 360. Moves about to there. Uh, in and out. Bends at the knee. A little less than 90. And he's got this secondary knee for beast mode. Then his ankle pivots. So yeah, not bad on articulation. And uh, one other thing you can do is it, you can replicate his whole hand blaster thing by basically turning his arms to where they would be in beast mode, just like that. That's pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and go to beast mode since we're partway there already. So just take those heads, halves of the heads, and put them together. As you're lifting this up, rotate his head down, collapse this flush against there, rotate it up, bring this up just like that, bring down what will be his legs, and unfold them as you do. Back here you just want to bring up the hip, bring back that knee, bring down this knee, 
and fold away the heel spur. And there you've got his one of his legs, and you do the same thing on this side. And you take the tail and just plug it in back there. There you've got the Armada Cheetor in his beast mode. And, you know, still not a bad looking beast mode. I'd prefer to get the original color scheme over this, but at the time this was the only one I could get for a decent price. For a low price for what I had at the time. But yeah, not a bad. You got more of that purple in this mode. Especially on the back. Same with the orange. You get a lot of that painted red orange. Some of that navy blue comes through, or kind of a dark bluish gray, I guess. You got more green here with the eyes. And overall, this looks more like a panther than a cheetah, just with these colors. So, I guess if you wanted to slap a Decepticon symbol on here, you can call him Shadow Panther, Transmetal 2, or Transmetal Shadow Panther, if you want. I don't know. I was also told that this could be a good cataclysm to have, like the only version of that we've got close to cataclysm. But uh, one other thing is about the Transmetals, they have this third intermediate kind of vehicle mode and to do that you just pull out the tail flip up that that'll become like a little tail fin for him you, you flip these side panels out then you reach under and rotate those out those will become like jet engines and this is one of the only things that has been remolded on this and I don't know if he originally had these little things or not but here instead of having the actual intake piece they just have a little mini con port and then you rotate that up you see on this side rotate it up and what you do is you take cliff jumper and just plug her in on there and that defeats your whole flying purpose having a little mini con on your side so just get rid of her and there you've got a little flight mode. I guess you can rotate the legs out to give them that kind of flying pose. Another thing I don't like about it is, is this gap, but what can you do since these rotate into that gap? So it doesn't bother me too much if there's that gap. But yeah, that's pretty much it. There's the Transformers Armada, Cheetor, and Cliff Jumper. Uh, not a bad figure, but if you're looking to have a Cheetor in your collection, go with the uh, regular Transmetals Cheetor, not this one. Uh, if you're, unless you're a huge fan of Armada or really love these colors, so yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say. We'll see you guys in my next video.